Welcome back everyone. You may be in a situation where for some reason you may have forgotten the passcode on your iPhone. Now you can go ahead and basically still have access to your phone, but hopefully you would have done a you know backup at some point because the main way to do this is essentially going ahead and you know restoring your phone, resetting it up, and then you know restoring from a backup. So I would recommend you to actually go ahead and see if you can recall the passcode in any capacity. See if there's any possibility, maybe it's like any other way. If you have no other way of possibly getting the passcode back and you're the rightful owner of the phone, then this is essentially what you have to do. You need to go ahead and reset your iPhone. Now for every iPhone, it's different. So if you're watching this on an iPhone 10, there's one way to do it. An iPhone 12 is also the same way. But if you're watching this on an, like an iPhone 6s or an iPhone 5, there's different ways to go ahead and do this. So I'm going to post on the screen right now the different ways to go ahead and actually put your iPhone into recovery mode. So it really just you know enables you to go ahead and hold down some buttons here and there. I think you hold up like the power button and some other buttons. I don't want to say which ones if they're wrong. But you want to go ahead and hold those buttons down and essentially make sure you put your iPhone in recovery mode. That is pretty much the main thing you can do. And after you put your phone in recovery mode, all you have to do at this point is essentially go ahead and plug your iPhone into your computer that supports iTunes. So you want to grab your iPhone, you want to plug it straight into the bottom here to your iPhone, into your MacBook, Windows PC, whatever, and you want to make sure those PCs and whatever support iTunes or the Files app or whatever. Now once those are all set up, all you need to do now is open up your iTunes computer, and it's going to basically tell you that there is a you know iPhone that is in recovery mode, and it's going to have to go ahead and actually reinstall the software on it. So all you have to do now is just download that software. It's going to download in and of itself. And at some point, it's going to go ahead and reinstall that software on your iPhone. And like I mentioned before, if you just grab somebody's random iPhone and try to do this, it's not going to work. You're going to have to be the rightful owner because there's going to be an iCloud lock associated with that email. And there's no way to bypass that with full you know, access and stuff. So once you go ahead and download that software and all that stuff, you're pretty much set. Your iPhone will come back into the hello screen and you just have to essentially go ahead and just, you know, use your, go ahead and set up your iPhone as you normally would. You're going to come into a point where it's going to ask you to type in your email and your password associated with this iCloud account. And from there, you're just going to have to just type in your email and passcode and that's really it. After that, your iPhone will set up and you can basically use it as you normally would. You will have to restore from a backup like I stated, but this is essentially how you go ahead and have access to an iPhone still, even if you don't have the passcode associated with it. So if you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly, that everything also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.